Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems on the web at lobbytools.com. The Crystal River 3 nuclear plant has been shut down since 2009 when its previous owners botched a multi-million dollar repair. Whether it ever runs again was the key subject on regulators' minds as they grilled the CEO of the plant's new owner, Duke Energy, who told them the answer depends on a complicated equation. And the right answer is the one that leads to the, the lowest cost impact on consumers on a risk-adjusted basis. There'll be no decision on what to do with Crystal River 3 until an independent study is ready, and that's a couple of months away. The company is seeking the largest claim ever from its insurance company, up to $1.3 billion. Anything the insurer doesn't pay, the CEO says ratepayers will be asked to pick up. There's no single factor such as the insurance that will make a difference. It's, it's a combination of factors. The company has already collected over $665 million from ratepayers to build two new nuclear plants, but no decision on whether they'll actually be built will be made until 2014 at the earliest. The Southern Alliance for Clean Energy is suing to get the money returned. They argue the state doesn't need more nuclear. Energy efficiency get, can be returned for two or three or four cents a kilowatt hour, and nuclear power plants are 15 to 20 cents a kilowatt hour. A decision by the company on Crystal River's future is expected before the end of the year, but whatever it is, it's expected to have repercussions on every other nuclear plant in Florida. In Tallahassee, I'm Mike Vassalinda reporting.